Hi, this is Kathy from Craft with Kathy. Thanks for joining me this evening. Hey, it's Wednesday. I'm hoping you're having a great week. I'm coming at you from the live from the suburbs west of Chicago, where we've got a little heat wave going around here. It got up to around 32 degrees today. Oh, seriously, I do not like the cold. It's just, brr, I'm not ready for it. Um, a little bit of what I was doing here um, a little bit earlier before I was getting ready for my live, I was painting some mini um, embroidery hoops. Aren't these the cutest little things? I'm going to be using them in a project later this week, but I thought I'd uh, put a little gold, silver, and uh, this was actually a deep, deep copper on them. So look for that coming up. This is actually easy, easy, quick, simple, something that the kiddos might even enjoy doing. Um, a few weeks ago, before Thanksgiving, I added um, our uh, Club Couture transfer, the images and the wording, part of the wording and images from the Club Couture offering, to this little um, tin um, I don't know what to call it. It's not a basket. It's a rectangle. It's a tin. It's, you can put flowers in it or whatever else in it. I'm probably going to put some greenery and pine cones and berries and things like that. But I did this side for Thanksgiving and thought, hmm, I'll save the other side for Christmas. Hi. Are you watching TV? Yeah, but... Did it stop? I can't know to go to sleep. Okay, I'm doing a live. What? I'm I'm live right now on Facebook. Could you give me a few minutes? Oh, where are you going? I'm doing a live right now. Well, I need something. Okay. Can't or can't remove. Yeah. I'll get you something. Just give me a few minutes. Okay, you're good. I didn't realize I just I guess the TV went off in there and unfortunately I'm still using my phone which I'm also using for my camera as remote for the TV because the TV remote doesn't work and the fire sticks don't work neither one of them I don't know what's going on some days technology is trying at best but anyway so I want to do something for the Christmas season on the other side of this and this is um I think it's galvanized um, galvanized steel, and it just has a little bit of copper at the top where it's been painted. And I'm going to use copper to kind of blend in with that. Hi, Terry, how you doing? So I'm thinking I'll go with the copper for the wording, green for the greenery, of course, and then a little bit of um, shimmer crimson for the berries. Let's see if it shows up on the on the tin or not. If it doesn't work, if it's just really too dark of a surface for this, um, I am going with the olive green shimmer because it's a little bit lighter. If it's too dark, then all I have to do is spritz it with a little bit of water and remove it. So no harm, no foul. And my transfers are reusable. So if I don't like it on this, I could put it on something else. Or I could put it on this and something else. Um, the Merry Christmas transfer that I'm going to use is actually part of a four-part, um, four-piece transfer. And it's called Falala. -la. And there's four different pieces that I've cut apart. And you can see I've already done some projects. I've used the, um, I thought I used the Noel. Yes, I did. I could see my, a little bit of my shimmer glittering on it yet. And I did the Joy to You and Me on a, a nice rectangular Odette board. I'm doing pretty good, thank you. Um, but I want tonight I'm going to do the Merry Christmas. I love the font um, that's used. I mean, Merry everything. I would actually have preferred it said Merry Christmas, but I love the font. I think it's very pretty and delicate. So that's what I'm going to work on tonight. And like I said, if it's too, um, if my surface is too dark and it just doesn't really fly, then I'll just erase it and put it on something else. One of the beauties of using chalk paste is it's easy to remove from most surfaces. So I'm going to jump right into that. Let me move this little container out of the way. And um, I'm going to fuzz my transfer. And I think this is pretty, I mean, there's nice little sprigs here of greenery and then little berries. 
and then just the um, the script and it's pretty simple straightforward perfect size for that container so I'm just taking the transfer off of its backing sheet it's once the back side is adhesive our transfers are made out of vinyl which is the teal part and silk screen and you could actually see through the silk screen and being that it's silk screen our projects have a nice clear definition nice and crisp of the image and the wording now I'm fuzzing it which means I'm using what's called our fuzzing cloth and I'm deliberately applying a little bit of lint to the back to somewhat diminish the adhesiveness of this transfer because I am going to be putting an on a non-porous surface obviously metal non-porous um, and it will stick very snugly if I was putting this on wood I'd probably would have fuzzed it three times and that would be fine but on something extraordinarily smooth um, like glass metal or mirror you want to fuzz substantially because the more lint that you pick up the less strongly the adhesion is going to be the surface and you don't want to have to fight to actually pull it off of the surface and then when we clean this we'll just remove the lint and I think I'm going to move this just right up underneath to the, the lid or the little lip of this container and then I want to make sure I don't have any air bubbles underneath it now how's that it fits just about perfectly nothing's over the, the edge I have a little air bubble here I'm going to lift it back up and lay it back down and see it's sticking pretty snugly if I have an air bubble under the teal, it's fine, but I don't want it underneath the silk screen. And this is kind of a um, uh, distressed object anyway, so it's a little lumpy bumpy, if you will. So I'm going to start off with the copper for the wording. And um, maybe I'm going to start with the leaves with the olive. I might try have I might need to lift this a bit. Um, do a little paste and peel. I'm not really quite sure because it does seem like the transfer is, is sticking quite snugly to it. And we stir up my olive shimmer paste here. It looks like it has thickened a little bit so I'm going to add a little bit of distilled water to it to thin it down a bit. Just a little spritz. And you always want to use, I just refilled this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Get the sprayer going. You always want to use distilled water instead of tap water because tap water could very well have minerals in it. And you don't want them interacting with the pigments in your chalk paste. If you, um, you always want your paste, your chalk paste to be kind of like a consistency between yogurt and sour cream. If you add too much water and it's too thin, then um, just leave the cover off for a little bit until it thickens up. I'm going to give this a little bit more of a stir and get moving on it. Okay. Just, I'm, so I'm just grabbing a little bit of chalk paste. Oops, I grabbed a lot. Didn't mean to grab that much. That's fine. And I want to be careful not to actually catch the berries. I probably should have done this with my multi-tool. I think that's what I'm going to switch to, actually, so that I could avoid those berries. Do you want a snack? Gum or something. Get any chew for gum? Um, let me think. Any gums? No, we don't have any gum, but um, 
Hang on a second. Oh, I know what. I had this set outside from lunchtime, Mom. Oh, Jim. Oh no, I know you love this. Here you go. Got it? Okay, so I'm just going to add color in or cover the, the foliage with my chalk paste. Just gave Mama Reese's peanut butter cup her favorite. Oh, maybe not anymore. She kind of likes those Sanders caramels from Costco, the Kirkland brand. She really enjoys them too. I like the multi-tool because it lets me get into tighter areas than even the mini squeegee does. So I'm just applying it, pushing it through the silk screen onto the surface beneath it, trying not to bump into any of my berries here. And then I'm smoothing it, removing any lines, removing any excess, and going on to the next little area of, of foliage. These little sprigs. I suppose I probably could have done this all in just the copper. It would look probably pretty nice would be my guess anyway. I am going to do a bit of paste and peel with this, lift it up before I finish so that I'm not getting my chalk paste drying in the, the silk screen. We have a little bit more paste here. Oops, I grabbed too much. Put some of that back. Sometimes it pays to look around the house and see what you have for surfaces. Give new life to something that's been sitting around for a while. Okay, clean this up a little bit. You always want to lift from the left or the right, the top or the bottom. Never want to pull or tug diagonally. And oh, this is stuck pretty snugly here. Just lifting it up and then I'm gonna lay it back down. Ah, oh, I really don't like how snug that is. It's not good. It's, it's sticking pretty, pretty tightly. And I did fuzz quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I got it. Thank you. Okay, I think the olive shimmer looks nice on here. Get that down to get the wording and the berries. detail tool here I could use the pokey in to help me gain purchase under this so that I could lift it up a little bit. this in place. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. Just afraid of it sticking a little too snugly here. 
Okay, so I want to get my words now in the copper, and then I'll come back with the berries in my red. And I'm just checking for air bubbles. I do have a couple here. Let me smooth that out. Okay. I think the copper is a nice match. It's pretty close to the actual copper at the top of the container. Oops. Let's get smooth down. There we go. Sometimes it's a little challenging to scrape the paste off of the squeegee in a tight spot. This might have been better off with the multi-tool also. I love the multi-tool. One end is curved and it's great for allowing you to get into your paste jars and clean from under the lip of the jar. And the other end acts as a very small little squeegee, letting you get into tight places and apply the chalk paste. So it's really pretty handy. Hence the name multi-tool. I love when we can get multiple uses out of one thing. Okay, I think this looks good. Oops, I missed the top of my H there. Let me catch that. And I think I'm going to just come back and now do my berries. And keep up my paste so it doesn't dry out. And the detail tool, which I sometimes refer to as the pokey tool, <coughs> excuse me, has one side that's pointed. Um, great for actually um, if you have a little bleed on a on a surface you can actually scrape off the bleed with it and then the other side he has an even smaller surface um, the <coughs> excuse me detail tool and this will be perfect for coming in there and chalking the berries and I'm going to use my shimmer crimson here Oops. The shimmer is kind of funny when you go across and go over the silk screen and scrape it off. You really don't see too much left on the surface. This might not be bright enough, but I think it'll be fine. I think the leaves show, show up well enough, even if the berries don't. I'm sorry, I have a tickle in my throat. Nice timing, right? Okay, I just want to go through this and pick up the berries. I don't want to miss them anywhere. Oops, that one wasn't laid down very well. That was an air bubble. No harm, no foul. If it doesn't look right, I'll just erase that little area of it. I don't think anyone will notice that the berries would be missing from there. I'll grab a little bit more paste. Oh, you want one? Why oh, this one from yesterday? Okay, hold on. Oh, thank you. Okay, I think that 
that's good. Here, I'll shut that off for you. Okay, I shut it off. Okay. Give me just a few more minutes, Mom. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up. I know, it's in a mind. Right here. No, honey, you have to back up. You're right up against me. Here's a Kleenex. So I'm going to just lift this off my surface. It's getting a little tough to lift there. Let's try the other side. There we go. Put this aside so I could clean it. And let's take a look at our Mary Everything. It's a little dark, but I think it shows up fine. What do you think? Isn't that the prettiest font? So game plan is to put some, um, some pine cones and some greenery in here and some berries, maybe a little some sprigs of white or whatever, what? and just set it up there with in a, as a little vignette with a couple other pieces that I've got going. Thank you, Terry. I like the colors too. I think they went, I wasn't quite sure with the darkness here of the, the metal, because um, it has that hammered look to it, but I think it actually, I think the shimmer kind of works with it. Simple, quick, easy, a little bit of holiday decor. Oh, Thanks for oh, watching. Oh. Have a great, oh. great evening. Oh. See you soon. Oh.